Hello YouTube, this is Jamerica5288 and today we're going to up pot our corn. Currently, every night, um, well recently every night, the temperature has been dropping to 42 degrees. So I don't want to put anything else in the ground until I'm sure we're not going to have anything close to freezing. So I got myself these, these corn are getting too big to stay in this little slot. So I got some little um, cups and I put holes in the bottom for drainage. Woo! I got myself. <laughs> I put some holes in the bottom for drainage so that um, I could um, plant them in here and give them time and let them grow a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these out of here best I can without damaging them too much. Sometimes they wanna give me a little bit of a problem. Come on, plant. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> So you can help me help me help you all right so that's the first one i'm gonna take some soil i'm gonna cover up these roots and this is just um, my recycled soil that i got um outside and that's one done so it's strange how one day in Texas, it can be 80, 82 degrees, and that night it drops down to 40. I know that a lot of people um, around the United States are experiencing harsh weather, so I should be grateful um, that I'm not in that. But I, I, I had hopes. Last night I covered the plants that are in the ground with blankets, light blankets that I got from Walmart. You know those $3 ones? that They might be $5, $5 now. Here's another one. Look at those roots. See that? They're coming out. I'm coming out. This plant was ready, ready. <laughs> and I want the corn. Uh, first of all, I like corn. So I planted different, several different varieties. One of them, oh, one is coming up already. That was quick. Um, one of them, red is for wasabi. So wasabi is coming up already. Remember the other day I, I planted some? Look at another tray. Stay on task. Okay. So I planted several different kind of types of corn. One is a sweet corn. One is an orange corn. And I forget what the other one is. So I have several different types. And I'll just see what grows. Last year, um, my corn was dwarfed because I left it in a tote. And um, then by the time the little ears that did develop the some kind of aphid um, some kind of bug was on it, a black bug, and it ate it before I could get to it. So I think I got one little corn. I tasted one little corn out of that crop. These are going in the ground. These are going where the okra was last year. And the okra is also going to go over there. They're going to be on the north end of the, of the garden. Let me use some of this soil. Making a mess, but it's all right. I'll clean this table off again. Last night, this place looked like a a planteria. <laughs> Plants were everywhere because I could I couldn't leave the seedlings out. They're not strong enough to include these to stay outside in that kind of weather. And I don't want to undo all the work that I've already done. I don't have to want to have to redo it. So I'm gonna hold off for a couple of weeks and make sure that I'm not gonna have a freeze. You know what they call it on TV? Fool's crops. I don't want to be that a fool. I don't want to be a fool. Oh, there's a song. What's that song? I don't want to be a fool for love or something like that. Oh, I can't remember. So I'm getting all this stuff out. Look at the roots. This thing is doing, they are doing so well. So well. It's a rock. I thought it was a snail, but it's a rock. Doing so well. I am progressively getting there. I have some sweet potato slips that are starting to develop. I, I didn't get, they're not big enough for me to, to um, start taking them apart yet. But I'm sure they're, they'll, they'll work. I had them in partial soil. And um, 
I just water them every day like a plant and they're sprouting. Those were organic potatoes that I got from the supermarket. And they, they do what they say they're gonna do. They, they're sprouting, thank goodness. I was not gonna buy seed potatoes. If you did, that's fine with you, you know, fine with me, but um, I forget how much they were there. Th I think they were 324 at Walmart and, and even more at Lowe's and Home Depot. So I think I got a five pound bag for like four or five dollars. So I got to eat sweet potatoes and plant sweet potatoes. My chihuahua is making noise on purpose. He was quiet until I turned the camera on. Quiet, Chico, quiet. There we go. Silence, silence. I'm not talking to you, Felinia. One of my dogs is coming up on me. Stealthy. <laughs> Slowly creeping up on me. Were you talking to me? I wasn't doing anything. No, I was talking to Chico, the Chihuahua. And he, oh, I was so mad at him last night. He got into one of the planters because he's only like four or five pounds. He stepped his little butt into the, the one of the planters and just started digging a hole in my seedlings. So I come back in and I see dirt all over the ground. And I knew who did it. So that's why he's in his cage right now because he's a bad boy. He's killing my, killing my crops, him and the rabbits. It's like all the work that I did, you just dug it up. I think one or two of them survived. I guess it was in God's will. <laughs> what I'm gonna have to tell myself. So I'm gonna um, put these in the tray. I got two more to do. As I go along, this is going to be where it lives until um, I put it in the ground. It helps it with the watering so I don't have to water so much. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, it helps with the watering. So those are in there. I got two more to do. Um, let's see. Take some of that out. Move these forward so you can see what I'm doing. I have two more. I'm gather my dirt back up. This table. And I got it on the floor. I have to mop anyway. I told you I had all these plants in and they don't have any bottoms on them. I was panicking last night. I think it took me maybe an hour to get everything in. I've got to get a greenhouse. Just don't know which one I want to get. And I don't want to make a mistake and buy, buy the wrong one. Spent a bunch of money. I saw one at a uh, Costco, but it looked like it was really, really small. I was like, that's not big enough for me. Be a little bit bigger. And I think it was a thousand dollars. I was like, okay, all that money for that little bit of space. No, it's not enough space for what you're charging, in my opinion. All right, I got one more. Oh, I have two more, but I only have one more cup. So. Oh well. Let's see, I could plant something else in this planter, this plat. Get this up. Got all my roots. Pour some more. All right, and then I'm gonna put that in. And Keep on going. So this is just regular sweet corn. Um, the seeds came from the Dollar Tree. I know how some of y'all feel about that, but hey, they're 25 cents and I can feed my chickens with it. And I can eat some of it, even though it might not be as nutrient dense as some of the other ones. That, that um, orange corn, Hopefully that, that shows up. So I have this planter available now and I have all my corn in these little, um, these little uh, cups. And that's where they're gonna live for the next like month and a half. 
Um, they should have enough space where they don't become root bound, hopefully, fingers crossed, that they don't become root bound by the time I get them out in the yard. But these are actually bigger than some of the um, some of the pods that they give that you buy with, with plants in it when you go to the supermarket or to the nursery. So this should work out fine. They have holes on the bottom for drainage and this is going to be where it drains into this little cheap tray that I got from Dollar Tree. I have one more corn here. He looks like he's stressed though. Hmm, I'm wondering, I might leave him there. So I'll be right back, I'm gonna get some seeds. We're gonna replant into this planter and start all over again. Start the process or keep the process going. See you in a sec. Here goes disaster and destruction. Right, right Chico? <laughs> I'm gonna put him outside um, because he's in a little kennel and he needs he needs some space to run around, right? Right, Chico? And you making noise. So move Cyrus. They're always jealous of one another. Just a second. So I decided that we're gonna plant some cucumbers. You see that? And these are white spine heirloom variety, and I've had these. They expired in ooh, 21, 1221. So they've been around, what, two, three years? So we're gonna plant those. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put him outside in his playpen or his confinement area <laughs> so he doesn't run away. And I'll be right back with you guys. On with the planting, right? On with the planting. Let me turn this light on so we can get a little, uh, it is even louder out there. Just a second, let me turn the light on. You know, you can't please everybody all the time. So this is the one that I'm gonna plant. And I bought these seeds all years ago. <laughs> I have this one, one piece of corn trying to come up and I found another pot. So I'm gonna pot it separately also. So I can use this whole tray for uh, cucumbers. Here we are. Got it out. Put it in here, get some extra soil. Uh-oh, I almost buried it. All right, there you are. It's in there, it's a little one, see it? See it? Very little. Hopefully this helps it um, spring into action and catch up with its cousins, brothers, and sisters. Let me see what's here. Something died in here. I did have something planted in here, but apparently it didn't make it. So we're going to keep on going. What is this? That looks like corn. Maybe I shouldn't put anything on this side. So I'm just gonna plant right here where the um, where the corn was. There's some kernels of corn that didn't come up apparently. I almost just found one. Um, I'm gonna plant my cucumbers just on this side. Maybe they'll come up. This whole row, two rows didn't come in. So apparently those seeds were not Whatever I planted there, and it was corn, it didn't come up. Those seeds were no good. I wonder if it was from that stack of seeds. Well, we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna put two uh, two cucumber seeds in each slot. Double my chances, because the seeds are old, old, old. We'll move this big old pot out your way. And I had a pencil around here. What did I do with the pencil? Where are you? Weird, I just lost the pencil. Okay, I don't have the pencil, so I'm gonna use my finger. And this one, I'll push it back down. There we go. There we 
go. Thought about planting beets. But I'll do that on another tree. From what I hear on other YouTube channels, cucumber is a hit and miss. So hopefully it's a hit. I got all kind of sticks in here. Sticks. I don't like sticks and stones. Can break your bones. All right. Here we go. Got my cucumbers, my white spine cucumbers. I have a whole bunch of different cucumbers in there. Maybe I should do a, a row of each. Nah, nah, I'm gonna use these up. Nah, I'm gonna use these up, these are old. The other ones are this year. All right, cucumber seeds are not small. Pretty healthy, see that? That's easy to see. So I'm put start off with one each, and I'll go back and backtrack. They look like they're they look like they'll grow. Hmm. Starting to rethink my strategy of two seeds per pod. Just hate my hate wasting my time watering it, and then nothing come up like these two rows did. Yeah, I'm gonna do two. Change my mind again. One. Two. Two in each hole. See in there. And I have about six, one, two, three, yeah, six seeds left. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in. If corn comes up, then it comes up. But if it doesn't, at least I got something out of this space. One, two, three, four, five. Fill them in. Pinchy, pinchy. Push, push, pinchy, pinchy. Push, push. Push, push in the bush. You know I like to get down. Boy, I'm not singing for you. I don't know what year that, that came out. <laughs> uh, that was a song. An old memory popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> Surprise, it's me. All right, so. My dogs are moaning back there. Like they had a hard day's work. So that's done. White spine. Is in there. I have two little slots here that don't have anything in it. I'm gonna get some more seeds from another pack and I'll be right back. Just a sec. So, okay, I picked some of the seeds that I harvested from a melon I bought down south, down south in South Texas. Um, and it was a seeded melon. I was with one of my friends and he purchased a seedless, and I was like, hmm. No, I want seeded. So hopefully these grow. Man, I got seeds popping out of the side of this thing. Let me get some in my hand. Take four of them. Four seeds, that's all I need from last year. Last year's watermelon. So I'm gonna put them right here. Hmm, they look really dried up. <laughs> Hopefully they work. <laughs> I have nothing to lose. They were free seeds. I ate the watermelon. 
I should have taken more seeds out of it. I just took some. All right, those last two are melons. So I'm gonna make sure I, um, I mark these somehow with a straw. C, hmm, what color matches with C? None of them. And M, hmm, I'll figure it out. Anyway, I got this tree, this, this tray replanted. I'm gonna probably write, write on this one, put melon right on here and cucumber on all of this or hey you know what i just got an idea i could just stick put a hole in here and this tray used to belong to pansies <laughs> this free tray i got from the supermarket so i'm just gonna put the um thing there so I have it marked. I just need to remember these two are not cucumbers, but I'll figure that, that, that part out. So I have it marked now so I don't have to guess or wait until it comes up. So that's it for our planting session today. I'll probably do some more um, or maybe not. I don't know. I think I've done enough. I got to go out there and water everything. Uh, I didn't do it this morning. So that's it for today. We're gonna, I'm gonna water this stuff in and put it outside because it's supposed to be around 75 degrees today. Heat helps the seeds um, germinate. And let me show you the red is for, red is for um, radish, right? And you know the radish were wasabi from the other day. And look at that right down there. It's coming up. There's another one coming up right, right there see that so where's your radishes come up really quick um i might put some radishes in the ground since i have so many packets of them i buy i buy radish packets all the time since i know they show up and they show up and show out really quick so i was going through my food bank or my food index and i found some custard apple seeds I mean, yeah, custard apple seeds. It sounds weird, but that's what it is. So I'm going to plant them. I'm planting three in each pod. And these are trees. These grow into trees. I didn't know I had these. I ordered one from um, Etsy. There it is. I don't know if it's going to make it. I'm really upset. I was really upset. The, the uh, postal service crushed the box. So I get out, open my back, my front door and I got this box and I'm so excited and I open and I look at it and I'm like, oh my God, this thing, it looked like somebody stepped on the box and it was marked fragile. So they knew there was something in there that could possibly break. It was like they did it on purpose. So I begrudgingly took it in the house and wrote the cell. And he was like, well, as long as the stem doesn't break, it should be fine. Now I got my grow lights on and I gave it some horticulture molasses to give it an extra boost. We'll see. I've had, had better looking plants than that die. I was so mad. So I'm still mad about it, but you know, what do you do? It's okay if I kill it, but if it gets here damaged, that's a problem. The leaves are falling off. Look at that. I guess I could make the leaves a T. But yeah, they're they're I mean they're 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 falling off. Let's not get into that. So I got my custard apple slash sour sap seeds in a container. And I'm gonna put that outside in the sun with the other one that I just planted, the cucumbers and the two um, the two melon plants that I put in there. So I got what, three, six, nine, ten seeds planted. Just that quick. <laughs> there are, I already put a hole on the bottom of this, so there's not gonna be a problem with drainage. Hopefully they come up and they um, make up for the one. This one, maybe, maybe it'll live. I hate to see things suffering. Maybe it'll live. Well, 
there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to try, keep watering and babying it. This is going to go outside and I will see you all on my next one. Thank you for joining me and please remember to like and subscribe. I'm so happy you're with me. I'm so happy you're here. Bye.